Hello again, um, my name is Madam Hams. Welcome to my channel. And today I actually want to talk about using the Marc Jacobs large leather tote bag as your personal item bag when you're flying on planes. So I wanted to go through a couple things um, that I had to discover on my own the hard way when actually using this as a personal item. So first of all, what actually fits? So I will start by saying that I do use a purse organizer. This one is actually made for the largest Louis Vuitton bag, um, but it's just a basic purse organizer. It has um, a little divider in between here and that fits really well inside the Marc Jacobs bag. In fact, there's a little bit of space on either side. So let me show this just empty so you can see. All right, so these are the items I typically take on the plane with me when I am traveling, just as a personal item. So I had this larger cosmetic bag and I put that on one side of the divider. I have this cosmetic bag, which has most of my toiletries in it. I typically put that on the other side of that divider. Then uh, let's do this. One. I will do this one. Um, this one's empty right now, but you can imagine just from uh, the dimensions, this is what I usually use for my makeup brushes. And I usually put it down straight like this. Then I have perfumes. So I typically do not travel with full size perfumes. Learn my lesson with perfume bottles leaking and things like that. I usually travel with travel sizes. Um, this particular little bag is from a company that I really love called Genre Perfumes. They're out of Louisiana and I can put a link in my um, description to them. But they make these little bags that have little holders for I would say 10 to 15 milliliter size travel perfumes. And then this little one is from a company called Montal. I'm really into perfumes, guys. So that's their travel size. I keep that in a little bag, but they all go in here and it zips up. It's really convenient. And that goes in. Then typically I would have a book. This one's Atomic Habits, but you can see about how thick it is. And I can fit that actually in the middle section of this, this divider. So now we're getting a little heavy, still not full though, because I would say um, usually, you know, on the plane, I would have whatever is my purse that I'm carrying. So this is another Marc Jacobs bag. I think I showed it briefly in my last video, but this is like everyday kind of crossbody purse. And that would usually have like my wallet, keys, things like that. So I would put that in. And then finally, you know, planes get chilly. Here's a sweater. So all of that can go in and it fits pretty well. It is pretty full though, but you saw about, you know, how much went in. It was quite a bit. Um, if this was an overnight kind of trip, I would say that you could probably reduce your toiletries and maybe fit an outfit. But I like to travel with a lot of toiletries, a lot of comfort, and then I zip it up. That's it. So this is, how I'm traveling with a Marc Jacobs as a personal item. I did, you know, sort of jazz it up. You know, Marc has his brand on the front. I did get the cool gold chain uh, to go on the backside. Um, I personally love it. I think it's kind of fun. It is gaudy. I, I kind of like it though. So yeah, that's, that's what goes in. Now, I do have some travel tips. Based on my travel to and from Atlanta at the end of last year. So one huge thing is try to keep everything inside smaller bags. I say that because although the Marc Jacobs does zip, there are gaps on either side of the bag. And so if you had small loose items, that might be an issue because this does go underneath the seat, but it would have to go underneath the seat this way. So if you had small items with a plane jostling around, if you hit turbulence, whatever, those might come out of those small gaps. So one, keep that in mind. 
try to put all of your smaller items inside bags that won't easily come out of these gaps right here. That's one. And two, obviously keep it zipped. Um, the benefit, I believe, of Marc Jacobs tote bags in general is the fact that you can zip it up. A lot of tote bags, you can't zip. So please take advantage of the zipper. Keep it zipped up. It keeps everything together, keeps everything inside the bag. Now, um, I'm looking at my notes here. <laughs> so one thing I will say, I typically fly Delta Airlines and I'm almost always flying Delta Comfort Plus. That makes a difference because you will have less room like at your feet if you're not in a Comfort Plus seat. Comfort Plus seats, there's like maybe, not much, but maybe there's like a foot of space or so before the next uh, seat up. And so you have room for your feet to go. I say that because Delta has some very basic under seat uh, dimensions. I will post them like here so that you can see what those seat dimensions are. This bag, pretty much um, maximizes those seat dimensions. So when you put your bag down under the seat like this, like you can imagine the seat is um, in front of you is like this, this bag will take up all of that space. If you don't have a Comfort Plus seat, that means that there will be nowhere for your feet to go. Like your feet will be really stuck up almost underneath you. Um, if you have a Comfort Plus seat, then your feet are gonna be like right there. And I will show you some pictures later. So that's one. Uh, please be mindful of the type of seat you're booking if you're gonna have a bag this big under the seat. This also does fit fine over, but this is all about you traveling with this as a personal item. So you can put it in an overhead bin, it's fine. It'll be smushed up against other people's carry-on bags. Might be something to consider because this is, this is sturdy. The leather is great, um, extremely durable. But that versus a carry-on bag, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. So there's that. Um, also, check in advance about like what kind of plane you're gonna actually be flying on. I say that because um, during my trip to Atlanta, the plane going down there was a huge plane. It was I don't know what the plane numbers are, but like it was the kind where um, the seat configuration is like two on the outside, three in the middle and two on the outside. I'll post a little screenshot there. And that made a difference for me. So I was sitting in one of, I guess you could call the inner aisle seats. When I got on the plane, I realized, and I'll show you a picture, um, I realized that there was like um, a barrier that was not, uh, that I was not particularly used to. Um, it basically meant that I had less foot space than the person next to me. So the, like if you can imagine for those three seats in the middle, it was like a little bit of space, a wide space, and then a little bit of space. I was dealing with that little bit of space that did not fit this bag, bottom line. So Delta's dimensions are for planes that have that that regular like two, like three three kind of configuration. It's not for the big planes that have the two three two configuration. So keep that in mind. I had less foot space. That meant that I had to take out my sweater. I took out my um, cross body bag and I put this in the overhead compartment. It was fine. It was fine. It was whatever. Um, flying back home, it was in a typical plane where it just has three seats and aisle and three seats. That particular dimension is enough for this bag to fit and I will show pictures as well. So those are my tips. I would say um, this has been a great bag. I've had it for about maybe five or six months, maybe five months. It's been great. Um, super durable. I've taken it um, on planes. I've taken it on a road trip where I just stuffed it full of whatever and just threw it in the backseat of the car. Overall, it's been a great bag. I really enjoyed traveling with it, but I knew that for my next video, I wanted to give those disclaimers because if you're traveling with a Marc Jacobs large leather tote bag, you should definitely have, keep those things in mind before you go. All right. I hope this was helpful for you all and see you next time.